What are you watching? Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars, we've got a couple projects underway here. Clarkman has the R2-D2, and Clark is working on this, and I'm working on Darth Maul, making some progress on there as well. Roxy's working on her napping skills. I really wish we can show these guys how Dark T2, what can Dark T2 do. Our batteries are mostly good if you want to try it out. This may look like it's all torn apart, but it's just taken apart temporarily so we can charge up our batteries. This runs off six AAAs. It's a little crazy, but it's Bluetooth powered. Turn that screw down. See how that's blue? Mm -hmm. And that's blue? Mm -hmm. This side is red and that's red, so you know which side the, the legs go on. Yeah, but it can't tilt back. Yeah, well. Yeah, I was trying to do that earlier. It wouldn't work. See? Yeah, let's take him down to the floor here. Okay, he's good to go. Now we just gotta get the app going. He's R waking up. RD! He's alive! Hey, RD2, what are you up to? It's like a control panel, Clark. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So then you're gonna turn around, come back this way. Oh. <laughs> Howdy! It's not easy to control on this. Yeah, I think I like the other one better. Yeah, there's this one where you can like program it, and this one you're just kind of moving them like freestyle. This is the interface here, and you're gonna take one of these and put it up there. So it's like the start command. And then inside here you can have them like go forward, go forward. Um, oh, you want them to like tilt? Yeah, tilt back. Okay, I can have him tilt back before he goes forward. And then how about he turns his head before that? And maybe another head turn. I just want to kind of demo this so these guys can see what it's like. Okay, let's set him up. Can you take him down that way and then uh, have him face towards me? So we'll see him not too far out because he's not going to go really that far. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, ready? Yeah. So now all we do, go ahead and click the play button there. And he's going to start doing his thing. So he's looking around and he should lean back and now he's going to drive towards us. And that's what completed the sequence. And you can go through all these different things on here and make them do all of this stuff. Hey, what's the music thing that's on here? Let's have them do the music. Does he actually play? All the sounds off. Oh my god. That's really cool, man. You want to show them the other way that we can start them up? Mm -hmm. So this is if you wave your hand in front of them. Hold on, don't do it just yet, because I'll have to give them a couple commands. I'll have them go forward and then turn that way. Okay, wave your hand in front of them. There you go. Now he's gonna turn, hopefully. Or he tried. It's not so good on the hardwood floors. But yeah, Clark can go in here. Wow! Wow! He's, he's creeping on me. Anyways, that is our Lego R2-D2 model. And there's a couple other ones that come with this as well. But this is just a great opportunity for kids to learn essentially computer programming. You're learning how to take these objects in here and then put them in a sequence that makes him actually do something. And it's pretty neat. Yeah. And he's totally into it. Oh, yes. Do you want to make one? Yeah. It's all the commands to make him go in different directions. So you can decide what you want him to do. What does this do? Um, I have no idea. You want to try it? Mm-hmm. Something spins. Okay, he's gonna. He's not gonna move a whole lot. He's gonna go forward, go back, and then do some turns. Forward, back. The turn isn't so good out here, is it? Oh, that's on his head around. Yeah. Which is essentially the same thing that this one does right here. Let me try this one. Going through the stuff here. If you want to start all over again, you can just take all those things and trash them, and then you can go in between these categories and pick all the things you want to do, some of which we don't even know what he does. What's this one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll play around with it. We'll figure this out. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Lego, so I'm a little biased, but I feel like this is a fantastic product because it shows that Lego isn't just a toy. It's also an educational resource because he not only had to build that model, but now he's programming it to do what he wants it to do. Let's play it. All right, go ahead. Oh, God. 
Get it out of the way! <laughs> Where did he go with? Backwards. Looking around. Looking yeah. around some more. I'm poking. You have a lot of look arounds in there, don't you? Okay. <laughs> what is that, Russ? It's like your own personal robot. Uh -huh. Or droid companion. Can I help you? <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> you don't have to put all those in order like that. Mm -hmm. You can put like, if you want them to go forward like 30 times, you can do that. Don't let it do it. Yeah, I know he's gonna go into the wall like crazy, but uh, there yes. we go, go ahead. He's still gonna hit the wall. It's going forward a long time. Oh, something fell off of him. His wheel fell off. No. <laughs> we have a catastrophe here. Uh, uh, what, what happened? It's not supposed to meant to happen. I think we're good now. Oh, let's put this pin in further. Okay. He's fixed. I was just bragging you up, man.